Hi, welcome to a special episode here on the MS Guide. I've got a very special guest today, Joe. Joe is doing something that I find particularly extraordinary. The reason he's here is because he is the son of my friend's good mate, and that's going to become apparent. Joe, what is it that uh, I find so astonishing that you're doing? So in just under three weeks, I'm running the London Marathon um, for the MS Society. Okay. Just anybody who's not sure, a marathon is how far? So it's 42 kilometers. Um, I work in kilometers. Oh, 26 miles. But so do I. I'm half Canadian. Yeah, 26 miles in old money. Yeah. A yeah. long way. Um, yeah, it is a long way. It is a long way. And mm. it's often underestimated and how, how long it actually is. I think many people find that out every year at the London Marathon or marathons around the world. Yeah. Joe, here's the other thing. Tell me how fast you intend to do this. So the aim is um, is around the 2.45 mark, um, 2 hours 45, sort of up to 3 hours. So within that window, obviously closer to 2.45 is, is the aim, but it, de it depends sort of how I, how I feel on the day and, and how I wake up and, and perform. I, I think in polite language, that's pretty darn quick. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, Joe... That in and of itself is extraordinary, but the reason you're here is because you're raising money for the MS Society, and the MS Society help with research into MS, because right now it's an incurable, progressively disabling chronic disease. So it's a, I'm pretty pleased with you doing this, um, as I imagine most MSs are. Uh, there was a wrinkle when I spoke to you earlier today, um, before this, there was a really interesting wrinkle. So why under three hours? Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone, as I call it. I'm hoping to sort of this to be the first of many marathons um, and right. a, a good way of getting me into to Boston Marathon um, is to run under three hours. Um, so it's almost right. like a, a qualifying benchmark time. Yeah. Essentially, you're doing this at a high level because you've got it under three hours to potentially qualify for Boston. And yeah. at Boston, you are raising money for who? And our society as well. Yeah. Okay. And then, go on, continue the story. Yeah, so it, it continues, really. I'm hoping to do all of the all of the major marathons sort of across mm. across the world, um, probably a year at a time, to be honest, um, just because of, <laughs> of the timing of the marathons um, uh, and my and the strength of my legs. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's New York, there's various in, across Asia, so... So sort of, and you've got at a full-time time job. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, so it's <laughs> just a small little thing, you know. Now that now the clocks training. have changed, it makes training in the evening a, a lot easier. Uh, right, with the, with right. The, okay, with the daylight. Well, yeah, yeah. So it's a, listen, Joe. I just got you on here because hey, to anyone who's watching this, in the caption or in the rather in the description of the video, if you're watching the video on YouTube or if you're listening to the podcast here, then in the description for the podcast, whatever platform you can get it on, a, a Google, Apple, whatever. All the links to Joe's fundraising pages for just giving her there. Links to the MS Society are there. Uh, I put a link into the London Marathon if you want to learn just what degree of torture this is. And then you have to think to yourself, Joe intends to do this at least annually to raise money for the MS Society. So I think it's a pretty bold thing, Joe. I'm really pleased that you took some time to share it. Three and a half weeks ago, you are, I'm going to show my limited knowledge of training. You're tapering now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So the next, the next few weeks will still involve running, but it will be mm. at sort of a lower intensity and volume. Um, but you're about to set off on your longest run, aren't you? It, yes. Well, it was, it's happened. It's happened. It's happened. Um, You've done it. Oh, crikey. How long? Yeah. How long was it? Well, didn't quite go to plan and this is this is running for you so yeah, um, yeah. it was 25 kilometers which is which oh, is just good. 25 oh right okay. yeah um at my at my target pace which was which was good um i had right. a bit of an issue with with cramping um i think you know we learned from our mistakes i didn't quite fuel properly in terms of hydration um mm. so that's a lesson learned which i'm glad it happened because it'll be something to keep an eye on during the marathon um, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. all done now. And then we're kind of downhill from here. So the running will Are still continue, but it, it's, it's, it's a much lower intensity and volume. 
that's really cool and like i said thanks very much for coming on to share i will share all the details so please bung joe a couple of quid think of it as a price of a cup of coffee i don't know but it's um every little bit helps uh joe's gonna put him through himself through this for uh I can't imagine why you do it for yourself, but for us and for, um, you know, many more times to come. So, Joe, would you make me um, one promise? If you qualify for Boston, will you come back on and tell us? Of course. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Definitely. Look, Joe, three weeks time. Best of luck. And Thank I hope I'm much. one of the voices in the crowd cheering you on. Yes. The, the more right. the merrier. Definitely. You take care, Joe. Thanks so much. Thank Cheers. you. You too. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye.